everybody, Allison here with Southland Goldens. I am here for our week three video of our Dana and Tommy litter. So I tried to time this perfectly where the puppies would be up walking and playing, but we literally have like five minutes to catch them up moving around because all we do is eat and sleep, but they are all walking and I'm going to spread them around so that you guys believe me. Um, you'll see that I put ribbons on them. We don't normally have the ribbons. We just did the ribbons because I know in these videos our coats are getting thicker and it's hard to tell who is who. Come on, little girl. So our little girls are all up moving. They are super, super active as far as getting up, getting their feet underneath them, walking around. Our boys, a little bit slower to walk taking their sweet time. There y'all go. Come on, Mr. Red. Come on. Go right here. But our girls were the first to walk, all three of them. They took off before any of these boys did. Yes. See, these boys, they're just kind of nice. Come on, guys. I'm going to try to move out over here. So this will be our last week in the whelping box, just because we are all up and moving now. Um, Dana is doing great, keeping them well fed. They still got a couple more weeks uh, before they're completely weaned off of her. So hopefully by the end of this video, you guys will get to see them up moving. Come on now, I'm gonna make you move. Come on, I know. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. So we're still, oh, there we go. What is that? You can see their little ears are now open so they can hear. What is that? <laughs> We're trying to find it. I was hoping you guys get to see them walk because like I said, they are all up walking around. Maybe by the end of the video. Um, so we are a couple weeks, like I said, before they'll be weaned off of Dana. Um, hopefully you guys saw that supply list that I posted last week. It was below last week's video. Make sure you go ahead and order the puppy food, because the food that we feed, you can only order online. Super duper important to go ahead and get that. Even if you're not gonna stay on that food, like I said last week, you need to go ahead and get it because if you're going to transition a dog to a new type of food, please do not just do it cold turkey. Don't switch them without making it a very slow transition. Um, if you have questions on, hey, how do you want me to do that? How do I switch them over to this? Let me know and I'm happy to go over it. Mr. Black, you are not a small boy. And you're just walking all over everybody. My goodness. So yes, go ahead and start getting your supplies. Make sure that uh, you got your puppy food because it is going to be here before you know it. I promised you guys after week four, these videos would be super interesting. And I warned you from the beginning, these first couple weeks, first one week, two and three, there's not a lot to see because like I said, they go from running to bam, they are asleep and there's nothing we can do. They are not gonna wake up. Uh, but everybody's growing, everybody's gaining weight. So we're gonna go over all of their weights. We have seen a lot um, as far as their little personalities, temperaments, all of that is really starting to come out this week. I gotta watch this stuff. Um, and I wanna share that with you guys. Um, of course, you know, it can change again over the next couple weeks before we pick just because we're really starting to get to that point where we're introducing new toys, new sounds, seeing how they react. Um, so yeah, we'll share that with you guys. All right, we're gonna go with our boys first because why not? He's right on top. The massive boy, which you guys all know who's the big guy, Mr. Black. Yes, you are. You are the big man. All right, so he is currently 4.5 pounds. 4.5, twice the size, almost, of, uh, well, actually twice the size of some of the girls, yeah. Give me that side eye, yeah. He's just a big boy. Uh, we've noticed really his temperament is right there in the middle, so I'm gonna talk about either laid back, middle, or more playful outgoing. That is compared to their oh, litter mates. That is compared to this litter. I would say overall, um, over all of our puppies that we've had, I would definitely categorize him as a more laid back puppy, but out of this litter, when, yep, laid back, right on cue. Uh, out of this litter with the boys, I'd say he's right there in the middle right now. Yeah. 
So we thought she'd be our dominant one that came through and pushed everybody out of the way, but somebody kind of stole that spotlight from you. Yeah, they did. So this is Mr. Black, our biggest boy, 4.5. I don't think that's gonna change as far as being the largest in this litter. He has some big paws, so I think he's gonna be a big boy. I think you've yawned six times. I told you, they played hard for five minutes. I tried to hit record, uh, but I wasn't fast enough. So, here we go, that's Mr. Black. All right, next we have, oh, come on. Oh, sleepy. This one is definitely our most laid back right now. This is Mr. Blue, weighing in at 3.9. Super laid back, super easy going. He's got a very light colored coat. Um, just a very, very easy going boy. Like I said, he's the one I feel like I could just put in my pocket and just walk around all day and just, he would be content. My little pocket puppy. What you think? So he does not mind to be flipped over. Run our fingers through his little paw pads, through his gums. That's so tiring. And it does not bother him, all oh, the puppy breath. And I wish videos, I wish you guys could smell that. Oh, he's so cute. All right, so this is Mr. Blue, our laid back, easy going boy, 3.9. Really light colored coat. I can't move my feet because y'all have all surrounded me. All right, now we've got Mr. Red. Mr. Red is 3.7. So you remember I told, I said somebody took, took the, uh, the boss man position away from Mr. Black. That's this guy. Mr. Red has definitely become our boss. Kind of runs the show. Keeps everyone in check. Don't you? Yeah. When it's time to play, you're ready to play. And you want everyone to play with you. Yes. So this is Mr. Red, 3.7. And I'll show you him on his back. He's not as comfortable as Mr. Blue. You'll see he fidgets just a little. Not today, it's gonna be fine. No, I'm just tired. Still fine with us running our fingers through his little gums. I feel some little teeth coming in. Yes, I do. So this is Mr. Red our smallest boy, who's not small at all, 3.7. All right, now for our girls. So there is a big weight difference in our boys and our girls, uh, which is normally sometimes the case, but um, these boys are just, they have taken off. All right, so uh, we have two girls that are the same size this week. So Miss Purple really shot up in weight and Miss White kind of hit that point where she wasn't growing as much, still gaining weight, nothing alarming. They all just hit growth spurts at different times. Um, so we will go with Miss White first. This is Miss White, 2.5 pounds. She is definitely become our more playful girl. Um, you guys really can't see it in the video, but she will go up to all of them and is ready to play, 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 play. One that I thought honestly would be pretty laid back. She has come out of her shell this week. Yes, I have. So this is Miss White, 2.5, our little playful girl. All right, next we have, what's this one? Miss Purple. Miss Purple is also 2.5. Did I start on you? Yeah. So she has really taken off as far as um, catching up with White, because White was a lot bigger. Uh, but Purple kind of hit that, you know, growth spurt. Um, I think they'll all three gain a lot this week, so we shall see. Uh, but she's 2.5. I'd say she's right there in the middle. Her and Miss White are very similar. So I'm not quite as playful as Miss White. But I like to have a good time. Yes, I do. So this is Miss Purple, right there in the middle. All right, and our most laid back, sweet little puppy is still Miss Green. Oh, 
Miss Green is now two pounds, so she is definitely going to be a more petite female. Um, so but she's finally in that two pound mark. We're still tracking her weight uh, twice a week, or twice a week, twice a day, every day. All the puppies actually, but um, our main focus was on Green just to make sure that she was gaining the weight that she needed. And she is, she is just so sweet and so laid back. You want to show them how you can walk? Let me show them how you can walk. You want to walk over there? Come on. Come on. Yeah. There you go. Say wake up, guys. Come on, guys. I really want y'all to wake up. Nobody's going to wake up. What was that? <laughs> White said, oh, who's ready to play? Who's ready to play? So I promise you after next week's video, uh, that week five, week six, you guys are really going to be able to see a lot because um, I know you right now you're thinking, oh, how in the world do I pick a puppy off of what I'm seeing because all they do is eat and sleep. Um, we do these videos just so you guys can kind of feel like you're a part of the process uh, because look at that little face. I mean, they're, well, they were almost asleep. They're, trying, they're falling asleep. Here we go. And... Oh, never mind. Yeah. Uh, but no, we want you guys to feel like you're part of this whole process. You'll see them scratching in these videos. We only put the, the ribbons on them for the videos. So even when we're week seven, we put the ribbons on it. They scratch, they itch. Um, they're just not used to it. I only do the ribbons because a couple of years ago, I had someone say, hey, we can't tell who's who because their coats are so thick. So I thought, well, this will probably help. And I really think it does. If you guys have any questions, um, let me know. But we are all hitting the little milestones. We're walking. Obviously, eyes were open last week. Um, we're starting to react to new sounds. So when we introduce new sounds, we're seeing, hey, who approaches it, who steps back. We're keeping track of all that. Um, yeah, that's about it. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. And uh, happy Tuesday. We'll see you back here next week for our week four video.